What's up Beast Fam and welcome to another video. In today's video we're going to go over how to calculate your calories to lose weight. I know the last few days it's been raining and when it's raining you don't really want to exercise outside and you're going to have low motivation to go to the gym. So it's really important that we're nailing down our nutrition so that we're actually still getting results even without having to exercise and go to the gym. It's really important because 20% of our results is going to come through exercise and 80% of our results is going to come through nutrition. So it's really simple to do. All you have to do is follow the next few steps that I'm about to show you. It's really simple. All we have to do is just search up some calculators online, plug in the data, and then we've got a rough estimate of how many calories we need to consume. So this is really easy to do. All you have to do is open up your favorite browser, Google Chrome, Firefox, Safari, whatever you like to use. And we're just gonna go in and type in calorie maintenance calculator. So we're gonna open up a few different tabs with these ones because we're gonna calculate the average of them. So go in and open up those. So how many have we got? Six, okay, that should be enough. So we'll fill in the details. So we've got the metric system here. So I'm 23, I'm 165 centimeters and I weigh 68. So for activity level, I actually have an office job, so I'm sitting down a lot of the time, but I do go to the gym about at least four or five times a week. So we'll go ahead and put moderate exercise four or five times a week. So calculate. So it's giving me here that maintenance weight would be 2,346 calories per day. So this is how many calories I need to maintain my weight. This is the value we're gonna take. We're not gonna take this weight loss one, because we're gonna actually take this one and then I'll show you later on how we get to this one. So 2,346, so I'm just gonna take note of that here and we'll go on to the next calculator. So just filling out the details as before. So 68, 165, and we'll go moderate exercise calculator. Now we've got all those, now we have to calculate the average. So really simple, all we have to do is add them up and then divide by the number of values that we have. So 2,346 plus 2,482 plus 2,082 plus 2,400 plus 2,342 plus 2,482. So we got that and then we've got six values, so we're gonna divide by six. So 2,350 calories. So this is how many calories my body needs in order to remain the same weight. So if I want it to say the same way, if I want to say 68 kilos, this is how many calories I need to eat every single day. If I eat less, I'm gonna lose weight. If I eat more, I'm gonna gain weight. So from here, we can then create a calorie deficit so that we're actually losing weight. So the magic number that everyone uses is a cal 500 calorie deficit. So why is that? Why do we use a three, uh, 500 calorie deficit? Well, it's because 3,500 calories is actually equal to one pound of fat. So that's around about half a kilo of fat. So if we have a 500 calories, calorie deficit every day, after a week, we're gonna have a deficit of 3,500 calories. So that means we're gonna lose one pound of fat or about half a kilo of fat. So this is a really sustainable amount to lose every week. Obviously we can have a bigger deficit and we can have a smaller deficit. It really just depends on the speed of results that you want. But I'd recommend to stick around 500 because if you can only really go over if you're really heavy. If you have a lot of weight to lose, you can afford to have a bigger deficit because you've got more to lose. But someone like me, it's very hard to make the deficit bigger because then I can potentially lose muscle. So you really want to avoid having a big deficit because if you have a big deficit for a long period of time, your body's actually going to reject it. It's going to get mad. It's going to fight you. It's going to 
think, oh, this person's starving. We need to hold on to as much fat as we can because they're not eating enough. So that's why 500 calorie deficit is recommended because you'll consistently slowly lose weight every single week. Now, obviously, as your weight drops, your maintenance calorie is going to drop. So that means your deficit, you're going to need to adjust it every single week. Now obviously this is all just a calculation and you have to figure out for yourself what your body actually needs because there's a lot of factors that come into it. How much physical activity you're doing, your height, your gender, your weight, your age, um, your health. There's a lot of factors that actually come into how much your body can burn and how much your body needs. So this is just a estimate. You, you really have to understand this is just an estimate but it's the first step to actually understanding. As I said before, 80% of our results is gonna come through nutrition. So if we can dial down on our nutrition, then that's where a majority of our results is gonna come from. So it's really important that this is the first step to understanding how much our body needs. Now here in Australia, we use kilojoules. Kilojoules, calories, same thing, it's just a different form of measurement. All you have to know is that by dividing or multiplying by four, you'll get the other amount. So if you've got 2000 kilojoules, if you divide by four, you get 500 calories. You can do the other way around. So if you've got 500 calories, you can times by four and you get 2000 kilojoules. That's a rough estimate. I like to use 4.2 because it's a little bit more accurate, but obviously using four without a calculator is a lot easier. But that's pretty much the first step. Once you understand how much your body needs and you can slowly monitor that and actually track, you know, that, hey, my breakfast is this amount of calories, my lunch is this amount of calories, and my dinner is this amount of calories, you can slowly adjust your eating so that you're actually hitting the right amount of calories so that you're actually consistently getting results every single week. So I hope this video was informative. I hope you learned from it and it gave you value, be sure to give me a thumbs up, a like, a comment, and let me know what other videos do you want me to make. Love you all, peace out. Fit Beast out.